Oh! I'm not a naturally calm person. Like, I think that, um, I think that most people that are calm all the time are probably fucking crazy. Which is probably because I'm fucking crazy, but I know why I'm crazy. I'm crazy because I think too much. And when I think too much, it just really messes me up. The amount of time that I spend thinking about other people, specifically what other people think about me, it's fucked, man, you know? I don't know. Like, I'll be at home on my computer trying to write something, right? Some really good material, trying to focus. And I'll just get so distracted. I'll start scrolling, I'll start clicking. I've got MySpace open in another window. And my old friend from high school, Mikey, just shared a picture of his newborn baby, his beautiful baby daughter, right? And I'm just thinking, am I ever gonna get married? Am I ever gonna have kids? Is Mikey an unfit parent? <laughs> that's, that's besides the point. Actually, no, you know, it's, it's not besides the point. He once bit the head off of a goldfish for a bag of Doritos. <laughs> Oh, man. But Mikey. Yeah. I wonder if he ever just, you know, thinks back the time that we spent together, all the stupid shit we did, and, you know, if it's good memories. <laughs> I miss Mikey, man. He, uh, he's probably still mad at me for running over his dog, though. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't spoken to him since that day, actually. It's because I'm afraid of confrontation. I've never really been good at at dealing with problems, you know. Usually I would just joke about it or ignore it until it became a joke. Can anything really be funny? <coughs> I'd like to think so, but well, the truth of it is not everything is funny. Some things just suck. I mean, honestly, I shouldn't even be here with you guys right now, but somebody that I really care about is in the ICU, and she's been there for about a week, and the doctors just don't know. And I, I'm just not ready to lose her. And I do this thing where when I'm needed most, I run away or I back off and I hide. I go silent. I don't answer my phone. I don't talk to anybody because the idea of receiving bad news just is so intimidating that it makes me want to just go to this like delusion where nothing can hurt me. You know, I got nobody to really talk to. I feel like I, I, I can't even talk to you. I could try and call Mikey, but, you know, I ran over his dog, so. 